Well, lads, what's the crack? My name is RJ Runner, and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm, Episode 3, Hell is Empty. I kind of left in an awkward spot in the last video, I was in the middle of dialogue, but at that point, I think I was like an hour and 20 minutes in, I was growing kind of tired, so I thought it was best just to cut the game short, because uh, there's nothing worse than dragging an episode out when you're, you know, that tired. So, we'll continue on from here, and... Yes, I will be playing some sort of horror game before the month is up. I've already partially decided it's either going to be Alien Isolation or Layers of Fear. Both games are great games, but that decision will be made soon enough. So let's just get right back into the game at hand. Okay, so we're talking about Damon Merrick and he, what he wanted. He wanted to scare us away. That's basically it. I, I think he wanted to scare us so he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that how it became violent? Uh, he, w well, Rachel got angry and he wanted dirt on you. Well, both are true. And I don't think any of them or any of the choices here will affect the dialogue to an extent. When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father. Well, it wasn't our fault, really. He already knew, so... Yeah, go down to Path of Honesty again. I, I don't know. Maybe he's seen her before. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. I think we all could see it. But... Then he said something that pissed Rachel off and she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him and then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something but when he attacked her I just froze. It's not your fault. Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard See, a scream. Frank is a good guy, for the most part. But I don't know what happened. And then... We were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. Oh, lovely. If we could get into Blackwell, that would be great for us, but, you know, given the timeline of events in the first game, that never came to be. What are you going to do without Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. Now are you going to give him a beatdown? I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later... She might not have. Uh... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. You would think that he'd be blaming Chloe for all of it, but thankfully he isn't. Oh, he's that stiff. I think that was Steph. Hey. What Steph. is Steph? How's Mikey? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. Wait, I thought what happened to Mikey happened ages ago. Uh, then again, the time of, of events in this game happened over a period of a day or so. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Okay, let's see what we have here. 
few magazines. One more hour of waiting, and I would have read that. What, mini golf monthly? Hey, don't be dissing mini golf. golf. Everybody likes mini golf. Or you could act like a child and sit here. And pout. Being in a hospital this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up, and then I'll feel better. I owe Frank big time. Can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it one way or the other. And what about Damon? Is, is he gonna come after us? Oh, he better not. I actually feel better knowing that James Amber is on his case. Ugh. That's weird. Okay, any more thoughts? No? No, yeah, okay. See, I like this kind of uh, inner monologue that you can do in, in this game when you interact with certain objects. That's kind of cool. Like, shows the characters uh, emotions, feelings, and what have you. All sorts of complicated if I stuff. I want to stay sane. I need to stay busy. Okay, then look at the memo here. Be, be nosy. Frank's business must be booming. Shit. Attention, Frank Arcadia. Okay. Oh, okay, fine. Attention, Arcadia Bay Hospital staff. There has been a recent increase in anesthesia complications from recreational drug use. Please make it clear to patients, especially those in their teens, that if they've taken any drugs, they need to disclose them to you for their own safety. Be persistent when taking down patient histories. Thank you. Good idea. Wait, what? Shit. I Wait, know right? those guys. Uh, this doesn't look like the maternity wing. You think? <gasps> Uh-oh. If you're this useless now, what are you going to do at 3 a.m. when the oh, baby needs... There's a sign for the prenatal class. Great. I guess that's your contribution for today. <laughs> <laughs> those people suck. Oh, yeah, I remember those people. We stole their booze way back when. Yeah, I don't think there's much to look at here. Well, boring pamphlets... This wall. Oh, look at all the pretty drawings. Yeah. Are these all firefighters? Okay, attention Arcadia Bay hospital staff. Due to increased volume of patients suffering from heat exhaustion and or smoke inhalation, we have made several additional recovery rooms available. Please process all new patients into Wing B. Consult your shift leader for a refresher in recovery protocol. Thank you. Okay. Lovely. And this is out of order, so I don't need to interact with this. That's fine. Donation box? Would we make a donation? I don't think Guess so. Guess the citizens of Arcadia Bay aren't feeling so generous. Says you. I don't see you putting a dime or a quarter or a dollar in there. So I guess we can talk to Mikey first to pass the time. Oh, hey, it's Anthony. Hey, Ant, how you doing? Can I talk to you? Is that Mikey and Drew's dad? It must be. All right, then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? The drug I'm collector. Chloe. Or the death collector. You here to see Mikey? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just uh, shoot the breeze at him. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Mikey's hurt, of course. But the doctors are saying it should heal up relatively quick. And Drew? Hey, maybe you heard. He's all set to go to Oregon State. Full ride for four years. That's... That's awesome. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mike's uh -oh. mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sure. Uh oh, am I going to be grilled about this? Have been acting a little, well, guilty lately. Uh, I've, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. And I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? Uh, you know what? I best leave well enough alone and act like I don't know nothing. 
Uh, no. Sorry. This weekend was actually the first time I've really hung out with them. That's all right. I appreciate that you've been keeping my boys company. Mikey said he feels a lot safer around you. He's been seeming a little scared these days. I think my work situation's disappointed him. Both of them. Well, that's not your fault, dude. Ways. Uh, sorry I'm laying all this on you. I've been trying to keep it light in there. That's okay. Uh, nice of you to listen. But do me a favor. Don't worry either of them with... Oh, excuse me. Okay, you can take that and I'll talk to Mike. Oh my god, he's got a teddy bear. That's so cute. Hey, guys, how's it hanging? Chloe. Hey, you made it. Hey, Chloe. Okay, best uh, address the man of the hour, little bitch boy Mikey here, who broke his arm from a little push. I mean, I suppose it can't happen if you land awkwardly on it. Hey, how's the arm, Mikey? I wish it was the other one, so I could draw and stuff. But other than that, it's just broken. Sweet hair, by the way. I bet you could pull off Sailor Mercury. Uh... <laughs> Thanks. Sailor Mercury. Any news about Rachel? That? Her mom seemed hopeful. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. Why? What happened? Rachel was stabbed, stabbed in the arm by Damon fucking Merrick. Yeah, that's not funny. Shit. You serious? Fuck that guy. It wasn't because of me, was it? No, 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 no. I should have been more careful, or we have our own problems. Because we don't want to shift blame here. Oh, no. We got our own set of problems with him. That's crazy. The whole thing makes me want to just... Beat him up? I swear, if I ever meet that shithead... I'm gonna... What? What are you gonna do when you meet Damon Merrick? Slap him Something on? Something terrible. Uh-huh. I am. Like... Carry <laughs> on, key battle. Sorry. Gotta lighten the mood here. Challenge him to a karaoke battle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how we settle things on the street, huh? Okay. Throw dice at him. Criticize his taste in film. Okay. Tell him about a band he's probably never heard of, but should have. Enough! <laughs> ah, she's getting ragged on. Anyway, we're glad Rachel's okay. Oh, uh, you should hang out here till she wakes up. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Okay, first I just want to look at this note card here. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. Michael, I would like to express my deepest condolences for your injury. I strive to make Blackwell a safe and welcoming place for all students. I realize now that in many ways I have failed to do that. I want you to know that students and faculty are rooting for you and your speedy recovery. Your absence will be felt by all here at Blackwell. I've made sure that your teachers are ready to accommodate any academic needs that you may have. As for the matter that you're injured on Blackwell grounds, I can't help but feel personally responsible. I've begun to look for new security personnel. If there is anything I can do to make you feel more safe upon your return, please do not hesitate to let me know. Sincerely, Principal Ray Wells. Ah, oh, thanks, Ray Ray. You're the best. And the note card, that's what I wanted to look at the first time. Like he's entering into a cartoon contest? <laughs> I hope he wins. Michael, success! I was able to get a medical extension for your entry to the Cascade Head Cartoon Contest. 
I think your superhero designs are the perfect spokesperson for marine preservation. Have a restful recovery, Miss Cole. Whoever Miss Cole is when Miss Cole is at home. Name does sound familiar. Yeah, I can't talk to Drew here. No, I, I, I can't. No matter how many times I spin, he just won't notice me. Okay. What are you guys doing? I thought you'd never ask. I had to hide our game from the nurse. She thinks it's negatively affecting my mood. Elamon's backed himself into a pretty tight spot this time. Uh-oh. He might not make it. Wait a sec. Calamastia. Oh, no. <laughs> she can join Elamon in battle. Maybe no. the two of us together could actually make it out alive. Bollocks, Wait, why did I do this? You're into this nerd shit, too? Uh, I don't want to be a dick to Mike, so I'll just say totally, just, just to brush off Drew. It's a game where I win if I make up crazy shit and act like a badass. So, yes. I hate to be such a game master about it, but I'm pretty sure Chloe's character died last time. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I can't play. Wait a sec. Didn't you have that anklet of reincarnation in your inventory? Shit. Uh, yeah. I totally did have that thing. Holy shit. So you can actually swoop in and save my ass. What do you say? Um. Not today. <laughs> I, I don't want to spend too long in this video. Uh, maybe later. Okay. Let me know when. Okay, now I feel bad. Damn it, I know it's just a video game, but I, <laughs> I still feel a bit of em empathy for the guy. Empathy? Sympathy? One or the other. Both have similar meaning, but two different words. Oh, I don't want to play. I don't, I don't want to. It's nice that I can bum around here while I'm waiting for Rachel. Fine, I, w I will. I'm such a fucking pushover. God damn it. Ready to play? Also, because Steph is cute as well. Even though she's a lesbian. Yeah. Let's do it. <sighs> we rejoin Elamon as he majestically soars over the traveler's path. He glances over his shoulder, only to discover his pursuers are right behind him. Wait, you can fly? I'm a wizard. Plus, I kind of have to since you cut my feet off last time. Uh, sorry for drinking on camera. Can't help but I get, get very thirsty. Also, it's Aaron Brew for Christ's sake. It's the best drink in the world. Okay. So funny. Oh, yeah. I totally did that. You totally did. This game is awesome. Elamon comes around a corner to discover Calamastia. The elf barbarian sitting by a fire, roasting squirrels. I'll just say, sup. Because I'm a badass. Sup. Sup? I'm running from Dragonkin because of you. <laughs> Remember when you killed that jailer and took his key to free the prisoners in the prison camp? <laughs> Turns out you offended their entire clan. And they're after Good. me now. There's no I in team. Well, I, I think that was really more of a team effort. You mean when you told that dragonkin that you'd skin him, make a handbag from his flesh, and then carry him around in it? Yeah, that was really a team effort. Your crotch-punching abilities are second to none. Suddenly, dragonkin scouts rush in, clawing you while your backs are turned. Take four damage. You're Ouch. up first. What do you want to do? I guess a spinning slash, because that's more badass. I 
do a spinning slash. Sixteen. Good enough. You spin around, using your axe to slash all six dragonkin at once. They all drop dead in a puddle of blood. Hey, nice one. Don't celebrate yet. You begin to hear the clinking armor of hundreds of dragonkin warriors. The sound grows louder as they grow closer. And this is why I was running. I guess running sounds good. It's the last time we took on any monsters together. Elmon and ended up being decapitated, and we got ourselves killed. So let's not go down that route. Hmm. Running and living. Yeah, sounds like a plan. You sprint as fast as you can until you come across a fork in the road. One path leads into the mouth of a deep, dark cave. The other takes you into a dense, misty forest. Which way do you go? Hmm. So it's like, pick your poison. So to the caves where there's no light, or to a misty forest where there is some light and both scenarios pose possible danger. Or option three, feel it out. Maybe we might get some input from Mikey here. The little bitch. Can I, you know, feel it out first? Totally. Roll for perception. Ugh. Thirteen? Despite the desolate look of the caves, your elvish senses tell you that something does in fact live inside. Something unfriendly. That's some solid intel. Next. You turn to the forest. Though it seems still, you sense that what's inside is not entirely at rest. Okay. Come on. The dragonkin are still behind us. Hmm. To the forest. All right. To the forest it is. Let's go. As soon as you enter the shade of the great trees, it becomes eerily silent and very cold. You notice the stones on the ground are arranged in strange patterns, creating huge designs all over the forest floor. I think I know what this is. I follow the stones. The stones lead you to the center of the forest, where you see a mysterious glowing idol upon a golden pedestal. A forest idol? I could use that to regrow my feet. Help me steal it. All right, yeah, let's try it. But I'm guessing it's going to have some Indiana Jones type consequences, whereby when we lift it off the pedestal, bad shit is going to happen. What type of bad shit? Who knows? That's up to the dungeon master. <laughs> oh yeah. Now this is my kind of skill challenge. Awesome. Roll for idol theft. <laughs> 20. You find a log on the ground and pick it up. Ever so slowly, you lift the idol and slide the log into its place. Sweat pours down your face. You wait, but nothing happens. No net appears to catch you. No blow darts shoot from the trees. The idol is yours. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Nice. You Indiana Jones the shit out of that. Oh god. The idol, it. Elamon channels the energy of the forest. Fog sweeps in from all around, obscuring his legs. When the fog rolls out, Elamon has a brand new pair of feet. Yes, finally. Suddenly, a bony hand shoots up from the ground in front of you. Then the undead soldier it belongs to sits up from his grave, sending dirt and pebbles flying. <laughs> I ain't afraid Your no dirt or pebbles. shouts have woken him from his slumber. Balls. Then the ground beneath you shakes. Bony, rotting hands shoot up from the ground all around as an entire army of undead warriors rises from their graves. You have disrupted the undead forest, 
an ancient burial ground for fallen soldiers. They surround you now, armed to the teeth, bony faces grinning. Totally worth it. Run. Luckily, the undead have a very Coward. low running speed. The party flees safely, but the soldiers aren't far behind. As you near the edge of the forest, you hear the familiar boom, boom, boom of heavy footsteps out of the shadows and into your path steps Durgeron. Oh, oh Durgeron. Is that me? You're gonna play? I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. What do I do? Say something threatening. Yeah, because uh, you're a bully. Not pass. I've heard you sound more threatening when ordering pizza. <laughs> okay. We'll be friendly here. You're, you you got, got this. this, Drew. I mean, Dur Garon. Weak, foolish creatures. You were lucky to escape me the last time. But fortune does not shine forever. When I'm done with you, death shall seem a quiet reprieve. <laughs> Word. I Whoa. wrote that for him. <laughs> oh, you did? Oh, shut up. No, I'm less now impressed. Now remember, Durgeron is still wearing his bracer of fire immunity and is impervious to all of Elamon's battle spells. Yeah, as it should be. It's your move. Not ice slice would be the best way to go, seeing as he's impervious to the element of fire. So this says I have some special kind of magical frost sword that does some like, ice slice thing. I'm doing that. Here we go. A 20? Ooh, Shit. nice. That's good, right? Durgeron, roll to reduce damage. You pull out Oof. your magically frozen blade and then unleash the ice slice to end all other ice slices. Ice slice. Durgeron takes 21 damage, but is still standing strong. I'll swing my giant ass sword at your head. The elf just manages to duck under your blade, avoiding damage, but getting a pretty nasty haircut. You pay for that <laughs> okay I'm not gonna call upon Elamon because in this scenario he is kind of useless I feel like rage slam might be good <laughs> bring it channeling your immense fury you try to lift Durgeron into the air for a body slam badass style 12 uh 16 Ouch. Durgeron stronger than you think he reverses your grip and lifts you up, throwing you through the air easily. Ha! Bullshit. You land in an embarrassingly awkward way. Take five damage. I take it all back. This game is dumb. I kick her <laughs> while she's down. <sighs> Make that 16 damage. Back to you. I call upon Elamon. Help enough out. Hmm. I know. I cast clairvoyance. What would you like to see? Durgeron's weakness. Hey, what? An image forms in your mind. It you see a good. small, adorable gnome bard singing a sweet song in a city street. Suddenly, Durgeron appears standing over him. He snatches up the bard, carries him to the sea, and throws him like a football far into the storm-tossed current. Immediately after, he grabs his throwing shoulder in pain. You hurt your shoulder tossing a gnome into the ocean? I don't know what she's talking about. Didn't you throw that marching band kid in the pool last week? <laughs> Not that you can prove. I stab at his right side, where he can't fend me off. Come at me. She lunges for you. You try to raise your sword, but pain shoots through your arm like lightning. Her axe gets you right in the rib cage, dropping you to your knees. This one's all yours. 
Skull bomb. You yes. have finish him. Hey. Skull bomb. I ignite a very small sun inside my enemy's head. Though his bracer shields him from the heat, the gravitational force of the sun causes Durgeron's head to implode until it disappears with a bloody pop. <laughs> Inon! Whew! Man! Finally! That was like two seconds. I barely <laughs> got to play. Nicely done, Alamon. Uh, if Durgeron's dead, I grab his bracer. Oh, yeah. The, the bracelet of fire resistance. Bracer of fire immunity. Whatever. You burst okay, Hermione. forth into the majestic meadow. Horizon to horizon. All you can see is lush, green fields. Full of birds, flowers, and dragonkin. What? Instead of chasing you, they circle around to set a trap. And you just walked right into it. As the dragonkin ahead prepare to attack, the army of undead arrive behind you. <sighs> We're surrounded and screwed. Ah, come on, Elamon. I'm sure you've got some sweet spell that'll save us. Uh, like teleportation? I do have searing crystal. Perfect! Searing crystal, these fuckers! You don't get it. This isn't just another battle spell. This crystal is like... Like dropping a nuke. It'll kill everything. Even you. Even you and me. Actually, you did grab Durgron's bracer of fire immunity. Whoever wears it would survive. See? Problem solved. <sighs> but there's only one bracer. Oh, we could die valiantly together, or you know what? I'll sacrifice myself. <sighs> Mikey loves his character. I I can't just let him get Elamon killed. Okay, to succeed in back time. Yeah, 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 yeah Elamon, we've done this before. Keep the bracer and cast the spell. I'll hold them off so you can survive. It won't work. Look at all of them. I should have never started this quest. I'm too weak. Elamon is mighty. Elamon! Freaking wizard of the third circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avalon. Avernon. Yeah. Close enough. That. See, you can do anything. Wow. You actually remember all of that? But I've never even used this spell before. What if I roll too low? Go on. We believe in you, Mikey. I believe in you. I know you'll roll high. You're the only party member I've ever had who's actually helped me. I can't leave you behind. Ah, you have like everyone. Come on. You are like the most heroic person I know. You help everyone. It's my turn to save you from something. No, Calamasia, I won't just kill you. You can't kill yourself and don't be afraid. Don't Come be on. Afraid, Elamon. Ah, you... you are destined for great things. Wait. No. I won't abandon the best partner I've ever had. Oh. Mikey. I cast Shield of Stars. Oh boy. A dome of blinding light surrounds the party. It captures the attention of all surrounding creatures. They immediately charge. This sucks. The shield of stars withstands some of the blows, but wave after wave of attacks weakens it until... Until? The shield gives out. Dragonkin and undead warriors descend upon the party. Do we fight valiantly? Oh, yeah. By fire and sword, you take many of them down, though there are always more to take their place. 
Sounds like state last year. Their numbers overwhelm you, hacking you to death. Eventually, you die. Your body's torn to pieces. That's grim. Damn. Mikey, I'm... I'm really sorry. I've been playing Elamon for three years. He was like a friend. But you can create a new character, right? Yeah, I guess. Then let's do this shit. How do we start? Wait, really? You'll play with me? Sure, why not? We're not gonna let those shitheads think that they're better than than the North Brothers. Aww. This is gonna be dope. That was a pretty intense one. Yeah. Thanks for playing. It always means a lot to Mikey. And thanks Seems for wasting my like time. The least I could do. All right. Guess we talk to Rachel now. But first, I gotta talk to Mikey here. Oh wait, Sandy's cast first. Hey. That's the most important thing. Can I sign your cast? Yeah, definitely. Hmm. Something nerdy, but not too nerdy. That eh. arm, whatever an arm is. There you go. Cool. Oh, that is sweet. And here I thought it was all squiggles. Okay, this dog is stiff and drew. Uh, actually, no, fuck that. I'm out of here. Hey. Wait up a sec. Sorry I got angry at you yesterday. About the money. You were just trying to help. Hey. That's all right. Uh... Don't worry about it. You were in a, a really tough situation. A situation I created. When you said that Damon stabbed Rachel, I kept thinking, I'm supposed to look out for Mikey, not bring this shit into his life. I think you saved us from something so much worse. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Chloe. All right, adios, nerds. I'm out of here. Glad to be done with that game. Not that I'm against tabletop games. I just don't find them interesting myself. Chloe, this is Mr. Amber. Rachel is just waking up now. I'm sure she'd love to see you. Thanks. Okay, I'm away. Wait, hold on. Did I get another text from someone? Oh, one text from David. Uh, okay, Chloe, this is David. Did my mom give you my number? Yes, she did. I noticed you took your father's toolbox. Are you working on a project? Sort of. What kind of project? Jeez, what happened to trusting me? No, no, I was just asking. Glad to see you taking an interest in something. Keep it up. Uh, thanks, Daddy O'Dave. Shh. Sent. Wait, what, 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 what's this? Sent hospital help heating? More like silent hospital slowly trip. Friends and family insane. Oh, silent hospitals help healing. Ah, okay, I see. I couldn't make it up, or I couldn't make it out. Take the fire away. Rent out. You mean it's controlled? No. It's Those guys out. look exhausted. It extinguished itself. How could that be? Hell if I know. Wait, the fire extinguished itself? So, magic? Maybe? Hey, Rosie. To tell you the one. Can't imagine you're doing too great. Hey. Chloe, I can't even express 
Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Oh boy. Then the first game, that's going to be a very heavy hitting one for you. If you ever found out. Me too. You've grown so close, haven't you? Yeah. It's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. Okay, where is her room? The next one down? You didn't have to bring me in, please. Is that Samantha Myers? I feel bad. Holy shit. Wait, what? Is that Nathan Prescott? It wasn't your fault. <laughs> I almost cried. <laughs> oh, God. Nathan and Samantha? A couple? Together? What have I done? <laughs> I should have seen that biker, though. I just think it's sweet you wanted to take my photograph. I'm so of relieved course. that Rachel's awake. I, think it came out really well too. I should see her right away. Oh, okay, enough of those two little birds. Wait, did that close by itself? Spooky. Ah, oh, okay. She must be in here. Dad? I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Yeah, Thanks, give us some Dad. private time. I'll come back in a little while. My guardian angel. My uh, guardian angel? I doubt it. I'm kind of the one who got you involved in this mess. And who messed you up. To an extent. Steph says, hey, hey. I saw Steph earlier. She says, hey. <laughs> Steph's so cute. But not as cute as you. Aw. You're adorable. Stop. You're gonna make me blush. I mean it. Rachel. I'm sorry. What? What for? <laughs> You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I just, I just froze. <laughs> I blacked it out. I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. You saved my life. Uh, so many dialogue options all the time, I'll just say. I almost lost you because it's the most tear-jerking. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here? I mean... I'm still mad at him. But 
everything was done. But it felt so good to lean on him. Aww. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like when that hurt. <laughs> Would you do something for me? Sure, touch anything. Sarah. Mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I guess you want us to find I'm her. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. Yeah, I figured she would probably. I figured you would. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. I bet my dad has your number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. How do you know? Her birthday. Oh. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll, I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. <laughs> Thank you, Chloe. For everything. Oh no, you did? Or sleep? Ah, she's took it out. Oh, okay, fine, we'll, we'll do that first. Yeah, she's an absolute marshmallow of a person. And gorgeous to boot. So I guess we're heading back to the embers. And who the hell are you? Uh, uh, hey, Elliot. Oh, hey. it's Elliot. Wait, your hair, it's different. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it's nice. I, I like your shirt, too. I didn't know you were into dragons. Who the fuck isn't into dragons? Okay, uh, I can ask him how he is. Make a bit of awkward... Small talk, or just apologize to him about the Tempest. Actually, you know what? I thought Elliot would be a lot older. He, he looks like a freaking kid. I mean, he is a kid, but I thought he wouldn't be as, uh, you know, baby-faced. Unlike me and my grizzled manly beard. Sorry I bailed on seeing the Tempest with you. The whole thing just sort of happened. Uh, no, not not a problem at all. So, what's going on with you? Uh, I don't even know where to start. Lots of things. At the moment, I'm here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? She got stabby stabbed. Uh, she got stabbed by a psycho oh my god yeah it was insane holy shit are, 
Are you okay? Well, I'm gonna go with the obvious here. Um, I wasn't stabbed, dude. I'm fine. Mentally, not really, but physically, okay. Uh, I'm fine. She's fine too, by the way. Are well, you, mostly fine. Are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. Of course you will judge. Look at my own damn business. Chloe. I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately. Right? So what? You talking so smack about her? Obviously, something is going on. I swear, okay, no. man. That's not to be a dick to him. really okay. Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need... Something. Thanks. All right, thanks, Romeo. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Smooth moves, dear boy. You don't know anything about chicks. Okay, so we are back at the Embers. And I think I'll actually end the video here because Hello? I've been playing for nearly an hour. Oh, fair play to you, you remember the code. Wait, did I hear a phone going off or was that mine? I need to search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me find her. All right, all right. Oh, God, you got a fancy ass TV in here and everything? Damn. Damn, this place is so fancy. But I can explore the rest of this in the next video because. Oh, I've been working nearly, what, five or six days on the trot. I even went in yesterday on my, on, of my own volition. I probably shouldn't have just to tidy up the place a small bit. I think I got a lot done, even though I, I, I came in. I just did a small bit of paperwork. <laughs> I am a weird guy. I have a strange fucking work ethic. I love working, but I hate working at, at the same time. I mean, it, it pays the bills. It gets me nice equipment when I save up. And I don't have to cheat like some people scam the, the uh, YouTube algorithm. Thieve money from YouTube by using view bots and sub bots. Just saying. Not pointing out anyone in particular. Anyway, guys, that being said, you know what to do. If you did enjoy this video by some miracle, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up. Leave a dirty, nasty little comment in the comment section below. And, of course, like always, I will see you guys in the next one. So, until next time. See ya.